last time on Lawful Stupid. Uh, all right, so the, the four of you are uh, gearing up to head to the mines. You descend into the eighth level, um, Darling and Gus, as you, you kind of look around the the corners of the, the ceilings and the the where the floor meets the wall, there is these webbing of some kind that is sprawled all over this cavern. Cassiel, once you guys hit this floor, you hear the echoes of a metronome. And and may your breathing becomes uh, labored and and you're trying to keep it steady. Whoa, what's going on, May? I don't, I'm so dizzy. I don't know. I can't. Here, take the know. air from my lung and I'll just I'll <laughs> see him out the mouth of the place. Uh, and, and as as he goes to do this, uh, before he reaches you, you hear uh, almost in the, the back corners of your consciousness, you hear, Welcome home. We are greeted by the sound of the soft thumbing against the leather binding of a book. A metronome of sorts. Thud. 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 The bookshelves in this large study line the walls, almost three stories tall, filled with books in varying conditions, a collection of pages from the ages long past. A young elven woman reclines haphazardly in a reading chair, her pink braids laying over the back of the chair. This is boring, Alaria calls out to the figure sitting at the table. A a middle-aged man flips a page of the book he has laid out before him on the table. But necessary work for what we do, the man responded in kind. His clothes were colored in a mix of blacks, blues, and silvers. Next to him, a medium-sized staff with a blue gem at the top lay resting on the table. The staff pulsed blue light in time with seemingly someone's heartbeat. The wall opposite of the bookshelves consists of floor-to-ceiling windows. Your view is filled with a mountain range in the distance, creating a sense of tranquility. Ah, I'm gonna get another book while you look for the next clue. Our view fades back to our heroes in their dark cavern well below the surface of Goron. And you guys are back. You guys are back in this cavern. And if you recall, um, I'm sure our wonderful highlight has brought us back, but Let's, for the sake of uh, remembering, you guys all uh, just made it to the eighth level of this mine, um, and it was um, in disarray at best. And you guys had just Shane or uh, Mm -hmm. Gustum, you had just seen May uh, almost like breathing in this thick, discolored air, and then uh, Cassiel, you uh, heard a voice. Um, in your head that said welcome home or welcome back either one of the two that vibe I did not know that was in my head <laughs> now you that do that is something you heard at the very end now you do and only you heard it well you don't have ears so <laughs> in, in my um, you felt it wristband holes there you go <laughs> uh, I guess I'd go vibration that was weird uh, darling, did you hear that? No. Have I have I covered my my wife's face with a cheesecloth yet? <laughs> no, you haven't responded to it. <laughs> I'll, I'll be covering my wife's face with a cheesecloth. Thank you very much. 
I, I just heard a voice say, welcome home. Well, this is a lovely place you've got here. <laughs> <laughs> we should be careful about breathing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just going to, like, tighten up jackets around my face just in case. Especially all that I have extra cheesecloth. Do I actually recognize the area that we're in? Nope. Nope. Okay, well, I mean, I might as well uh, retort that as well and just... This doesn't look like any place I recall. Uh, well, you're not very useful in this moment. Uh, well, you're doing great yourself, too. I don't want to feel like we're having two different conversations here, but what's it smell like, this gas? You don't smell it. Oh, fuck. You only see that you're breathing it in, whatever it uh, is. Yucky. It doesn't feel different. The air feels stale that you're breathing in, but it doesn't smell. You can't taste it. You can just see it. And it's only you, Gustum, who has seen it so far. Nobody else sees. Hey, by the way, there's like gas. (laughs) Gas, gas, gas. It's not good. You should put cheesecloth on your face. (laughs) Okay. I don't know. And the last thing you guys saw. You guys um, guys see this, right? (laughs) No, I'm so confused. <laughs> now that we, now that he's so, pointed out, can we see it, Dwayne? Yeah, now that he's pointed it out, <clears throat> you're able to like. It's kind of like the peripheral vision, like it was there. You didn't really see it, but as soon as somebody points it out, you're like, "Oh shit!" Or like dirt on the windshield. Broken. If yep. we turn on fire, will it make it go away or explode? Huh? <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> eh? I don't know. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. You know, ask, are you asking me that? Yes, I'm, I'm asking us. <laughs> I am not. I am not a chemist. Do you, do you think it's a sentient vapor fog? I hope not. That's pretty much my worst <laughs> nightmare now, May. Thank you. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> you here? Why not? Is that a problem? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it's oh great! It's inside of me. It's in my lungs. Right? <laughs> oh yeah! I guess it's inside me now. Great! <laughs> hey, it's like hey, voice in my head. What do you taste like? <laughs> oh, <laughs> nom man. nom. Okay, well we can That's either. That's Gus's worst nightmare <laughs> Mace, to consume something with like... no taste. <laughs> Mace's face just goes like completely slack. Like, no. I am the weird English. Stop it! Okay, um, mate, um, laughing the, is the, making us breathe it in more. Should we go forward or go back up? <laughs> so the last I mean, thing you guys remember, uh, I'm going to give it to you just because it's been so long since we recorded. Um, this, the entrance to the like the mining operation, actually had like a crushed pillar. Like nothing caved in, but you could see that that killer, w- that pillar was busted, and then there was webbing along the walls. Hmm. Spiders. <laughs> my my keen animal instinct tells me spiders. <laughs> now, May, you may look at a spider and think that's not delicious. That's a gross, creepy crawly. I would like you to consider for a moment that they have eight legs, and legs typically delicious. Oh, like frogs. You could make their chitin into like jerky. Chitin jerky. No chit. Yeah. Think of it like a really big lobster of the land. You could make that chitin. Re- you could compress it, make it real thin, and make it in like an art, like an arc shape that fits in a cool cylinder can. And then you could call them chits instead These of crisps. <laughs> you gotta be chitting me. That's the slogan. Or you gotta small. be chitting me. <laughs> they could potentially be crunchy and delicious, but if they are large and animal size, they are either terrifying or like a pet. Like a pet spider well, that's puppy. True. You could get a spider pet. Yeah. A spider puppy. Okay. That's yeah. usually what happens in D and D. Probably gonna eat spiders. it. Probably mm. gonna eat it. To be honest with everybody, if I see a spider, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> if it acts like a puppy, like I want says. a spider puppy. 
<laughs> Unless it's if it wags its little thorax at me, and it's furry, we'll talk. It, it twerks its thorax at you, <laughs> like a tail, like an adorable <laughs> puppy wagging its tail. Dwayne, get your head out I of the gutter. I think it gets both. If it can your wag head's in the tail, dungeon, sir. Okay, well, twerking doesn't have to be like crazy sexual. If if it does, then TikTok has got a lot of children who are in trouble. What sort I agree. Of TikTok but, are you? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Anyway, uh, but I'm moving up. You guys don't fucking think thirteen year olds are out there twerking and not turning it into like don't even. All right. What up? What up? You guys whoop. need to be parents quick. I think there's uh, a number of anyways. features in there, like you can. There is actually, and it's great. I used it for London. It's actually a wonderful. Eat your kids' phones. That's what Gus says. <laughs> mm, that's true. Live by the nom, die by the nom. All right, so you guys are sitting here and taking this. What do you want to do? Do you want to proceed into the cavern? Do you want to proceed further down the mine? Do you yeah, have a look, choice? we can keep going because the canaries are fine. So as long as they're fine, we'll be fine. Do you have any canaries left? I forget if any of them yeah, are they're left. All, yeah, there's like three or four of them left. Yeah, Probably. but they have to come back and and you eat them to get their memories. That was well, the trick. I, that's, that's if I want to get their I, But if I just want to see if they die from poisoning. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah. You can determine if they're alive or dead. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just having to fly around. And if they drop dead, then the I, gas is too strong and we should leave. I also, uh, you know, I'd be interested in seeing what happens if one of those canaries were to get tangled in the web there. Uh, why would you want that? So I know whether uh, walking deeper into this tunnel is a good or a bad idea. Why is that? Why is the canary got to go down for that? I throw a rock in there. I'll hop in that. I web. guess you I could throw fuck. the bracelet. <laughs> I throw you. I, th- I was saying why? Why is uh, it? Beautiful bracelet. Poor, poor little canary got to get got so you can satisfy your sick curiosity Wig bracelet guy. big panda man little fox girl the panda man's wife and the bracelet she's got a huge gun Who don't just dismiss, don't dismiss her as, as a panda a man's wife in the web <laughs> maze pack and heat yeah you you throw a rock into the webbing maze got a blunderbuss strapped to her, her back as big as may is that's pretty intense. Is it? It's it's another sauce cannon, isn't it? I <laughs> who knows do not the trifle pack. Have Honestly, comments. <laughs> I'm beginning to think she planned this trip. I initially thought that this was an accident, but why? How else would I have all of this stuff that I need with me? <laughs> like I think she sent me up. Could she, be. She sent me away. So that's what it seems like. Yep. Is Maybe it, she's are trying you gonna to come take back your to your business. restaurant just pimped out? <laughs> like that's why she sent you away is to, to like trick our, to trick our ride. The whole thing. Yeah. I'm sure it was out of a place of love. I'm sure she just saw how much I miss Gus and was helping me get back. Yeah. I, don't I know think, you miss I your husband. Go like. fight spiders. Did anything happen with the rock? Uh, not that you could see. Sick. Nothing happened. It is dead. No spiders. Moving on. Moving forward. Should we just yeah. walk further into the cavern? Yeah. Cool. So we should so all talk about it. We should all in turn say we're gonna we're gonna walk forward into the cavern. Do you wanna go through <coughs> the, the cavern to the mining area or do you wanna go down the levels? Cause you remember there's levels. You're you're on the eighth level going down. So do you want to go further down or or go into that webbing cavern? No. I, we're not here for spiders, right? You don't no. know. You're here to find the source of disturbance. In oh, mind. so we might be here for spiders. Could be. And this level's the one in disarray, so it seems like the area we need to... Help out. me out, because I forgot how we got here. Did we accept a quest? Oh, that we have gave a letter. Us a letter. We have a letter. No, every, everybody at once, please. <laughs> we have Dad a letter. Dad gave us a letter. Okay. And he said, hey, check out the disturbance. Mm-hmm. That's probably the spiders, huh? Could be. I'm going to infer that. 
Maybe the mine workers are just on strike. We don't know. We'll find out. Uh, let's leave. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, listen, I'll fight fucking spiders, but I will not go against a union. I'm, I'm not going to unions. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with my wife and my sister about which direction to go. You let me know when we get there. <laughs> Darling will look at me. <laughs> Should we send down the little elevator to the ninth? the bottom floor and we just walk the rest of the way and then if we need to make a, c- a speedy escape we can just ride it up hopefully oh wow that was smart it could be smart unless we get like a quarter of the way in and the really really scary spiders we have to like sprint back a quarter of the way but instead we have to like sprint forward three quarters of the way through the spooky spiders like I'm just saying it could go either way she makes a good point too gosh what are you guys gonna do but I don't know I don't know I haven't been here long I'm really on the edge of my seat here guys oh, okay I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop it we just push the lever so it goes down and we're gonna walk our happy little butts down that way yeah, yeah. You, so you press the lever and kind of step step out so you don't get caught in the, the it descending. You hear it creak and rattle, and it slowly moves down on its own to the to the tenth floor. Bye, elevator. I'll miss you. <laughs> miss you too. Fuck the elevators on it. All right, so you guys walk into the cavern. I knew I could talk to elevators. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so you guys proceed through this cavern and the webbing is around the edges of the walls so you're not it's not like you have to duck um, as long as you don't get too close to the walls you're not going to like interact with that webbing at all um, so you guys you guys head through this cavern and it's not long before you hit like a split in the cavern where there's three or four different pathways and you can see this whole time that there's like this track right that we talked about um, that kind of goes down through here and the track actually splits as well and there's a lever to control which direction it's going um, and you can see that the track's last lever, uh, there's four pathways uh, it's put to the far left left what if what if I start baking some really tasty spider food some spider lore bait and they can just come to us so they go in which direction we just waft the delicious scent down all the tunnels spiders come to us what would be a spider scent as as far as I'm aware you put a bug in a web and it just wiggles around until it's ready to go yeah because you're not a classically trained chef (laughs) if you were you would know that spiders love one thing above all else. And that is... Go on. I'm ready to hear you. Potato chip flies. I was going to say French flies, so... (laughs) 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 I was going to say French flies, so we'll meet in the middle. French flies, that's awesome. French flies should not be potato chips. They should be scones. I, I think it should just be a bunch of bugs uh, served yucky style because the French can't cook for shit. That's 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 you heard me. I said French is yucky style. Get at me in the comments. Well, <laughs> we've said worse things about people. <laughs> sure have. <clears throat> that's where the, elves live. In uh, to uh, where the elves live. Where the elves live. Take a left turn at Albuquerque. You'll get there. <clears throat> so what are you? What is the plan? You're making spider. <laughs> hey, yummies. I was ta- I I I was. You know what? I had a thought. I decided I'd follow it. I'm I'm looking at the vibe, but I'm thinking this probably isn't gonna work out. And we'll just keep. I guess we'll do what you guys want to do. We'll go down one of these. Oh, it's <laughs> okay. What? Who, who wants to lead? Because it seems like they're we're having some some trouble here making decisions. Should I remove three of the tunnels? Is that what I need to do? <laughs> <laughs> three of them <laughs> came in. See, and I can't even see the tunnel part of the scenario. You presented me with a lever, said it was specifically one way, and all I want to do is go and turn it the other way. Th- that's fine. You get to do whatever you want. You just have to do something, right? 
Like, that, I don't that's, care. That's what made us. She just walks over, flips the lever. What happens? Where does she... So the lever's got four positions. It's it's all the way forward now, which is left. So you, as you move it back one notch, it moves over to one. So do you move it one notch? Or do you move it I all move the it way to the all right? all the way to the right. Yeah, so you pull, and there's like a click each time you pull, and you, so you get down to the fourth one, and it's a, and it locks in place on that fourth one. <clears throat> uh, roll me a perception check, May. Eighteen. Wow, that's really good. Um, so yeah, with an eighteen, uh, when you flip that switch, you hear. You hear skittering is the best way to describe that. I feel like you guys saw that I flipped the switch, right? I did, Mm -hmm. yes. I did notice that. I heard a thing. I heard some skittering. Which way? It's around. coming from that t- uh, that tunnel. Well, no, I'll tell you. That's a good question. It's coming from the tunnel that you just pulled the switch towards. <clears throat> Sounds like they know we're here. Uh, gee, you guys had mentioned fighting. Do you want to fight here? Should we go? Do we go towards it? Do we, I can pull the lever back. It's not too late. <laughs> okay. I, I love the idea she's going nope don't like that click 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 I'm right That'll next to it, it and there is three other options so <laughs> or we could just cause a problem and just push it back and forth over and over again see what happens so as you guys are sitting there discussing this from that tunnel there's a, a, a cart that slides on this rail and you can hear the wheels on it like kind of rattling a little bit and this covered cart uh, rolls up and hits the the junction switch to where it would turn, and it kind of like slowly it makes is like um you can tell it's not propelled naturally, so the force it's using to move is starting to wane um, as it comes around a bend between you guys. This is coming down the tunnel towards us, like it, it's coming down the tunnel towards the intersection to head up. Mm. to where you guys came from, mm. but it's starting to lose its speed as friction does its job. That's creepy. And it's covered, you said? It's it's. There's like a canvas covering. It, yeah. Yeah, so I should... Yeah, so I moved the lever to position three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so instead of it, like, turning, it just stops at that right in front of you guys essentially yeah it's here right like even if we change the junction point the cart is still on the track oh it's still there yeah it stops because yeah. there's no link to get it to yeah and is so it like it stops covered right with, in front of you guys is it covered with a tarp yeah like a canvas tarp like it like if you've ever seen like leather canvas it just kind of tossed it over something is is the tarp spider shaped yeah. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Absolutely. <laughs> See eight little legs. They're like dancing a little bit. No, it's, I, it's just covered. I, I go move behind Gus. And I, I I let the rest of the group check check that out. Do you you still have the cheesecloth on your face this whole time? <laughs> no. You're like pulling the lever. You just breathing in the spooky gas. <laughs> yes. Every I'm time you take it off, gu- Gus. Every time you go to do something else, Gus is sticking up behind you, put a cheesecloth on. <laughs> I would like to, uh, you know that magic trick where you take the tablecloth out from under something? I just want to <laughs> whip away the leather thing, please, and thank you. Yeah, and you do. You, like, pull it, um, and you are all greeted with a, um, hmm. <laughs> Avon, take your headphones off for a second. Oh, Okay. <laughs> All right, it's a cacophony of like arms and legs and body parts of miners, and it they are like soaked with blood. There's like bite marks, scratch marks. It is a an assembly of body parts in there, and it is gruesome at best. Uh, 
also to follow that up, since I'm in possession of Darling, mm-hmm. is that in, is, is, am I allowed to know that information as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you can absorb okay. the surroundings. Uh, Abon, inside the car is just like body parts from miners, like actual body parts that have been removed from them. So I'm going to wretch. Yeah. And Avon, just so you know, I had, just so you aren't wondering, I had you take your headphones off for the gross version of that description. Oh, okay. And then gave you the light version. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> You're welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah. No, no, casserole! No, no, casserole! No, 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 no. <laughs> nope. Cover That's it back good. up, Sprout! She gonna put it put back the tarp on. back on. She puts the tarp back on, and then can I push the mining cart back to where it came from? I mean, you can <laughs> start pushing Return it. Return to it, it, it's, it's not so light that you push it, and it just went back up the tunnel and never to be seen again. It's got like a self self tapping where you push it, and it goes, "Oh, I need to move," and just keeps moving. No, you can push it. It's just. You'd have to push it really, really hard. What if I push it really, really hard? continually push it. <laughs> Rice return to sender on it. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Can I send this back? I hate to do this. Can I send this back? I hate to do this, but my it, it feels undercooked. I said well done. See, yeah. You see I said this? medium well. You see There's this, Gus? The center. There's blood. Dad is trying to kill us. Uh... Uh, okay. What if, what if, uh, okay. What, uh. You sent the elevator down already. The only way out <laughs> is forward. Uh, so. Kind of like a Cortez burn the ships kind of situation. All right, forward we go. Let's go on. <laughs> Should we, May like grabs a limb to bring with. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I gotta know! Is it an arm or a leg? I think that I grabbed two arms, but like smaller ones. Ones that have clearly been like chewed off halfway, so they're a little bit lighter. They're not like heavy and meaty, so they don't weigh me down or slow me down any more than my armor or equipment already does. <laughs> she looks in there and goes, Are there any like child shaped arms, you know? <laughs> Make this easy for me. <laughs> oh yeah, you find just uh, a smaller arm. You know how you can give a helping I, hand? Yeah, I just... No, I have a couple, just in case. Oh, okay, it's Mage Hand. Throws it. Trust me. Like, I feel like somebody's <laughs> eating... Like, something is eating these. And, like... Can I use the help action with this hand? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, was, I think it's clearly... Like, like bait. Like, feed. Like, I could just No, I love something. that. It's just a funny picture. That's really smart. Hey, n- not for nothing, uh, taking a look at these severed limbs that my wife is toting around, um, <laughs> looking at the bite marks, can I maybe tell, like, with nature or whatever, like... Yeah, you can do a nature check. See, like, maybe what caused the bite. Yeah, yeah, you can do a nature check. Oh, uh, eight, 18? 18. <laughs> yeah, with an 18, here's what I'll tell you. You have no fucking clue what made those marks. Here's what you do now. It, you don't see a bun, You don't see spider bites. Hey, hey, no spider bites around here. Oh, thank God. I don't know about that. I don't know. I think I could handle a spider now. I don't know what it is. You're not sure whether to be excited or confused. I tell you <laughs> what. I don't know if that's better or worse. So I don't know many things better. that I could roll up to that are worse than a spider so like I'll actually like I feel I feel okay reaching back into the bag you know if you had a bag of like monstrosities and you got spider like I'd feel okay reaching back in yeah alright so you, what do you guys do a forward I guess you yeah. don't really have many options here no forward so do you push the cart with you when you go down that that path? I don't. My hands are full. I'm carrying two seven. The one arms. full of the one full of the devil's chef boy RD? No, sir. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Well, I was thinking if her idea was to have bait, you could bring the whole cart. Well, or that would be like too much bait. Of us. 
Yeah. Then we Mine, become. Oh, there's a lot. Mine are like if we encounter one, it she can, can like, toss it while she's it. running. Not like I want to attract a whole horde oh. to me because I have their dinner. Oh wait or a second! I, now I could now I could cook spider stew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Gus is like, wait a minute, now I have a way to get them now to I know what Now yes. I know what they like. Yes, now you know what spiders like. You, limbs. You know it's all spiders. Actually, I know what they don't like. They eat everything but the limbs. They're picky. They hate the limbs. That's they eat everything else. They, they, like the 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 core. they like the <laughs> core, but the limbs, there's not enough meat. Yeah, I don't want to eat the legs. They're so gross. <laughs> Make sure you bring my kid back with all their arms and limbs. I like finicky monsters. I, I like finicky but where's monsters. their core? <laughs> finicky monster is funny. You guys proceed down this uh, cavern. Um, and it, it starts to make a, a downward turn. And the webbing here starts to get thicker um, as you do that. And this track is still well conditioned. Um, that you're walking alongside. I imagine you guys are like split where it's two on each side. Kind of like if you were walking down railroads, you wouldn't necessarily walk, not railroads, yeah, railroads. Railroad tracks, you wouldn't walk in a straight line. You'd probably split. Just to be on clear, only only three of us have legs and are walking. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So there wouldn't Ain't be, no there, there wouldn't be two on each side. Well, I mean, I guess there would, yeah. but, but only if somebody was by themselves. <laughs> well, I guess it's still two on one side. It just happens to be one body, one That's bracelet. Fine. Yeah, um, yeah. Screw yeah, you. It's not one body. It's one bracelet. <laughs> yep. Uh, so you guys, um, so you guys, head down, and and finally you get to a point to where it is no longer feasible for you guys to continue without going through webbing or destroying the webbing. I'm gonna burn it. I have produced flame, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I can't. You I, produce, that's already happening. You produce flame on the web. I'm pretty sure that's an attack, right? An attack roll with produce flame? <clears throat> produce like flame. Like or something like that? Yeah, a flickering flame appears in your hand. The flame remains there for the duration and harms neither you nor your equipment. Uh, so if I want to use it as a light. So if I attack with the flame to make it on fire, I attack. All right, roll, roll an attack roll. Sixteen. Yeah, you hit. Um, you hit this webbing, and let me tell you, <clears throat> fire everywhere. Not only just the path that you're trying to get through starts burning, the cavern itself lights up as this fire spreads. This webbing just begins to burn, um, and it fucking stinks as this bur- as this webbing is quickly burned away. Um, so there's fire everywhere, essentially, uh, and you can proceed <laughs> forward uh, as you, this this cavern. You basically lit a match to fucking dry sticks, essentially brush. Boy, isn't um, everyone glad that their face is protected from both the smell and the smoke that has occurred by these delicious, fantastic cheese cloths? <laughs> Why they're delicious? <laughs> cheese cloths aren't delicious. You shouldn't eat them. But they're good. Yeah, so you guys proceed forward. Yeah. Uh, and these flames are not settled, right? We're like <clears throat> a tree. When you burn a tree, it burns for a while before. It- this is webbing. So that it doesn't take the fire long to spread and kind of smolder. So you're- it's not like you're walking through a tunnel of fire or a ring of fire. But, I mean, it definitely to be noted. I bet it looks badass. Hear- do I hear a million tiny screams? <laughs> Only in your dreams every night. Um, <clears throat> and so you guys continue down. And one more round of perception check, please. I still do plus two as a story element. Is that right? Yes. As a figment of my imagination, yes. Fifteen. Twelve. You get a 15? 15, yes, one five. Okay. I'm a six total. All right. I had a 12. Okay. Kayla had 11. That's all. All right, cool. I didn't see this. I didn't hear this shit at 11. All right, so. um, 
with a 15, Shane. You, or Gus. You don't hear it until it's up on you. But there are two, um... How, uh, we, we met. The, there's two Geosbom, Geosbom that, uh, come running down the tunnel towards you guys. Um, and they are full on sprint, all four legs. Like, they're not just running, they are on all four, beastly, running towards you guys. Um, and at first, uh, Gus, as you kind of see them coming, it's confusing, right? Because you've seen Geosbom, but they are usually bi bipedal. But these are on all four, very animalistically charging towards you guys. Um, and it isn't until they're up, they're kind of up close that the whole party kind of sees them. But Gus, you're the first to notice the the look on their face. Um, their mouths are like unnaturally turned upwards into a smile and their eyes are pretty vacant as they rush towards you guys. Uh, I'm going to step, uh, put my body between myself and the party and say, Tui Tui Defuye! <laughs> and that's where we're going to roll initiative. <clears throat> <laughs> beautiful use of the language there. I like it. I do yeah. love it. Oh boy. Uh, I rolled a two, so I guess a four total. Can you do anything as a yeah, priest? Yeah, we haven't really disgust your combat abilities. <laughs> I have no idea. I, have I just no assume that every once in a while a spell is going to shoot out of that bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been assuming. I have a 23. Whoa. All right. 17. Uh, if you if you need a quick you. warlock eldritch blast build, I know where to find them. Gus? <laughs> yes, I rolled a nine. Nine. Let's see what they get. One really good, one not so good. Uh, what's your dex mod? Uh, Shane, sorry. Mine is a two. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so these, these Gears Blom, um, we're going to start combat with them about 30 feet out because it's not like they get a surprise round or anything uh, other than the fact that they did surprise you. Um, <clears throat> and so they are coming at you full speed. We're going to start with May since you're uh, 23 um, <clears throat> and they are about 30 feet out from you so real quick Ginge when you made your character did you give yourself abilities and a class and all that stuff or not really not really okay excellent um, so Ginge here's what I'm going to do <laughs> I'm going to fucking wing it with you so you just tell me what you kind of want to do and we'll put mechanics around it Keeping in the, the mind that you don't have a cor corporeal form, so think supports, think spells. Um, uh, y yes, Shane. You, Shane, you I, have ha I have an idea. Uh huh. Hey, Ginge, remember in Persona Five, where do you have that character that just does like the support? She's like a hacker girl, and oh, so like, yeah. her, so like maybe maybe your thing is that every time it's Ginge's turn, he gets to pick one of like three core buffs that he makes active for the party, and they all have like a musical component to them. Because I'm picking, I'm picking. Oh, up, and like, it, a, the background combat the background. music changes based on it. Mm. Yes. Fuck, it's gonna be so I'm good. I'm into it. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Ginge, you just describe <laughs> the melody slash type of buff and then I'll throw mechanics around it on the fly yeah I can work with that yeah alright cool so that's fucking baller good job Shane um, and then uh, then May it's your Ginger, turn make sure to edit it in that this was your idea <laughs> <laughs> I know I can just have multiple different types of buffs that I can use at any given time like that time in persona <laughs> My turn. Oh no, I got distracted. Okay. Breathe and remember what I taught you. 
<laughs> Ooh. Eldritch Blast, Eldritch Blast, Eldritch Shoot Blast. Shoot it oh, sorry, with your blast. gun. Shoot it with My, your gun. Which is Blunderbuss Alexandria, right? That's it, yep. Okay, sick. I want to shoot it with my gun. Yeah, so you... It, describe the, the visual of this gun that is the size of you. It's like... Looks like... Uh, like Tristana in like League of Legends. Like it's got like cannon oh, yeah. rockets on the side, you know? Almost. Yeah. And it's just... It looks like I have to be the strongest woman in the world to carry it. But the secret is... It's really light. It's really just like a shotgun, and I've just put metal around it to make it look just so terrible. And there's just some loose metal that kind of flies off because I'm not very good at, like, finishing projects. <laughs> and so that makes it more deadly because, like, more shit just flies off and nobody knows. Perfect. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody knows. You level this rifle at these two figures, and uh, what do you... Who do you want to attack? One on the left, one on the right? You're using an ability? What are we doing? The one closest to Gus. Uh, one on the left. They're about the same distance, so one on the left it is. Sick. Why is the clicking noise in D&D Beyond so satisfying when you roll the dice? It's like that in real life, too. They did a good job. So good. On click, the click, clack, make brain go burr. <laughs> okay. I got a 22. That will say that connects. I did 15 damage. And that's bludgeoning. <clears throat> it's piercing. Piercing, thank you. It says blunderbuss. Yeah, blunderbuss doesn't mean bludgeoning. If you ha- if you l- let your mouse rest over the damage roll, um, it'll it'll say piercing, and also it's got the little piercing symbol next to it. Thank Perfect. you. Well, I just that's really you helpful. Know. You're welcome. The the bludgeoning symbol is the one below that. What what is your ammunition style? Is it like a um, projectile? Is it energy based? I haven't really it, asked. It, it's projectile. Okay, perfect. Uh, I, so I, I actually had a thought for this. Uh, it's it's your everything but the kitchen sink gun, uh, and so it, it's literally just crammed with like utensils and just like whatever's Fucking around. It's packs just of metal. It's okay, just it's it. just the garbage yeah. can. No, no, firehard biscuits it is, literally is exactly what I was shrapnel. thinking. Is like. Just sometimes it's like yeah. old leftovers shoved down it. It's anything that can make it go hard. It, it is it is the contents of both your thrown away utensils and the garbage disposal. Um, I love it. So there's like chicken bones in it. Bur- like, yeah. So <clears throat> you fire this shot off and it hits and, and this monster, um, it kind of like uh, changes its path a little bit. It steps to the side as it like moves out of the way of the effect. Um, it, it does the damage to their HP, but instead of them taking a physical hit, like the exertion uh, and strain is what actually uh, affected them. So, it, normal effect. <clears throat> uh, and so, what else would you like to do on your turn? Because again, you're about 30 feet away from these things. I have a question, like a D&D question. How do I tell if my ranged weapon is like a one-handed weapon or a two-handed weapon? Uh, it's a two-handed weapon. Shut you down. But remember, it's a two-handed you- weapon. But it should say, like, if you click on that blunderbuss, it'll tell you two-handed. It has the two-handed property. So you have, uh, you can fire twice though, because we gave you the feet, so you could ignore the loading property, and you're a fighter, so you have extra attack because you're fifth level. Thank you. I would like to fire again, please. Yeah, you can. Fire another round on the same one. Yep. All right, let's I do it. I got <clears throat> a 18. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. Um, and so here's what I imagine, and correct me if I'm wrong. You fire off this, like, cacophony of stuff, and then the next thing, we see you reload it, and you're just shoving trash and shit into this gun and shoving it down, and you just fire off another round. Yes. 
Uh, roll damage for me, please. Fifteen. Fifteen. Excellent. Um, with a fifteen. Yes, yeah. So you do thirty damage total, and so this thing, um, <clears throat> the second, it, it wasn't expecting the second round. So um, this rainstorm of utensils and trash pours across this thing and it kind of like loses its footing a little bit um, as it continues its charge. Very effective turn. Alright, next up is going to be the uh, Geos Bomb on the right. Um, And he is going to... He's going to charge. What is the walking formation? Who who would you have said was leading the two in the front or the one in the front? Who would that have been? Gus went in front of everybody to try to. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You said that specifically. As, so as, it's going to rush. And you'll give on... me that on, off the perception roll, just for knowing that they were there. I mean, I, I kind of just yeah, stuck that exactly. in before. Initiative. I will give you that to step forward. Absolutely, I, I totally forgot you said that. So the uh, the Geos bomb on the right rushes up to you, and it's uh, again it's all on all fours, and it leaps to to essentially jump on you, and it's gonna make an attack roll. Uh, I'm pretty sure a twenty two hits. Uh, let me check. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And so I just need to check something. Nothing for you to be concerned about at all, Shane. I never would be. Okay, good. Um, so you're going to take... Two. Carry the three. Well, I was doing the calculations. Um, you're going to take ten arcane damage or force damage excuse me not arcane force damage as this thing like leaps on you kind of giving you a little bit of bear hug but it takes a big bite out of your armor and stuff like that like you kind of feel some of your pots and pans crumple as it bites down on one of them really pissing you off but you take 10 force damage yeah ow Uh, and that's what it's going to do for its turn. And it's, it, Shane, from a descriptive standpoint, it's got you, but you're not grappled. You're not anything. It's not mounting you. But from a flavor standpoint, it's like on you. Does that make sense? It does. Okay, cool. Gus. Oh, no. He's attacked. Uh, and then, so that's the end of its turn. Next is going to be Darling. And now, Darling, you have one that's... I, I imagine Gus is like 10 feet in front of you guys. So you have one right in front of Gus. And then the other one that's about 30 feet back. So that means it's, for you guys, they're 40 feet away. Cool, 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 cool. Not a friendly Gus, but good idea. Uh, so, bonus action. Uh, bardic inspiration, please. <laughs> for Gus? To just 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 Gus? normal okay. bard inspiration die. Alright. Uh it should be 1d8 when you need it. And I'd like to cast Well hold on. Um there's there's limits on the Bardic inspiration for what it can be used oh, for. Oh, you want me to go over it? In different classes. Yeah, just as a reminder so Shane knows what he can use. Yeah, no problem. Uh, as a bonus action, a creature other than you within 60 feet that can hear you gains inspiration die. It's 1d8 at our current level. For 10 minutes, the creature can add, uh, can add it to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Uh, this can be added after seeing the roll, but before knowing the outcome. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh. All right. What else I you got? would like to use my action to cast Dissonant Whispers at level 2 to the one that's trying to chomp down on Gus. 
Okay. That's a wisdom saving throw, if I remember correctly. Yes, and that will be 14. It fails. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking rolled terrible. I rolled high. Uh, 19 psychic damage. Oh, yeah, you fucking did roll high. Uh, And then I think it falls down prone, right? Or something like that? Uh... No, it tries no, to run away from laughter. me. It, 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 it basically it, it gets me. it gets the feared condition from uh, the caster, I think, or, or what? It, she creates an illusion, and it gets the feared condition. It has to use its turn to try to move as far away from the apparition as possible, right, Abon? Uh, making sure it must immediately use its reaction if available to move as far as its speed allows away from you. Yeah, and, and so um, it, well, it wouldn't have any speed left, though. Uh, no, because it's not its As turn it's anymore? Speed. No, no, no uh, reaction speed. reaction is different? I well, don't know. You would have to use its reaction. I, I'm going to say it has full speed to run away, because that, that sounds like the spirit of the spell. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Versus being like, oh, it's already expended its movement. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because technically it has. But for the sake of the spirit of the spell, it runs 30 feet back towards, uh, well, 20, no, it's 30 feet. It's a max as far as the speed allows. So 30 feet back to next to its partner. Sweet. That is all I have. All right. What else you got on your thing? All right. Stay where I am. <clears throat> okay. Uh, next in the lineup is uh, the monster on the, oh, you know what? Uh, Jens, you need to roll an initiative roll, or tell me what yours is. Uh, mine was a four. I it think. was a four. Sorry. All right. All right. So it was we're bad. Back to- so it doesn't make much of a difference. <laughs> Got yeah. it. So we're back on the monster that was on the left that has been attacked a couple times. It's going to rush forward and meet Gus head on, um, and it's going to do the the same thing. It's going to give you an attack roll and see if it can hit. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. What does an 18 get me? Well, that'll get you a hit, sir. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and so, it again, it, it jumps on you, and it's going to uh, attempt to bite down. And I think you're, like, fighting it off. Um, and you're gonna take six arcane damage, as as uh, or force damage. I keep saying arcane. Gosh, I know force damage. Mean. I know. Whenever you say arcane, it just means I can't overcome it. <laughs> uh, well, force damage. There's resistance to force damage, like uh, uh, you're right. Just the shield Ginger's spell. Disc or whatever. Well, I think it's a shield spell that reduces force damage or something like that. Maybe it's not shield. There's one. No. Anyway, there's one. I know the one you're talking uh, about. I said tensor flowing disc. That's wrong, but uh, yeah. So yeah, that's what it does on its turn. And again, it's kind of like hanging on you, uh, bear style, but um, you're not grappled or anything. So next is going to be uh, your turn, Gus. Ah, yes. Um, what I will do. I've got one hanging on me, one thirty feet away from me, right? That is correct. I think what I'll go ahead and do is um, I will cast whole person uh, on the one that's 30 feet away from me. Uh, so that's a mm-hmm. wisdom saving throw. Okay, let's do that real quick. Um, yeah, I think it beats because it's got an eighteen. Yeah, eighteen succeeds. So it's a, that's just that's just the way. I just take out some sticky pudding and throw it at this guy, and he looks at me funny. I think he just like, hits it, licks it. And just, my sticky, no. <laughs> it's worn off. <laughs> All right. What else you got? That's it, brother. Yep. All right. Uh, Cassiel. So we got to do a little 
just a little bit of workshopping, if that's okay. Yeah, I've got three ideas here. Um, sure, you tell me what you want to do. Uh, well, actually, I might just dive in. I'll just be a little more direct than try to turn this into a thing. So I think um, Cassiel is going to say, don't make me regret this. And then he's going to use a skill called Uplifting Motif. And Uplifting... Uh, the way I'm thinking about this is Uplifting Motif, is, it's a support uh, ability. And the goal here is to assist Gustum, who just had chunks taken out of him by two of these Geoswam. Um, and I put in here that it's probably some sort of uh, defense boost. Um, otherwise, Here's, I would. All right, yeah, I'm go with ahead. you. All right, I got the mechanic. I'll give you. I'll give you a choice. Do you want it to be a single target effect or an, an AOE effect, where you can affect multiple targets? I mean, if I can boost everyone, then I should boost. Well, everyone. I will tell you, single target is more effective. That's like, what I thought. And then multiple targets is going to be less effective. I think for uplifting motif, let's do single target. Okay, so with it, with that, what you can do is with uplifting motif, you're going to do two things with that effect. One, the target is going to get ten feet of bonus movement speed, while their temporary HP that uplift, uplifting motif provides them is active. So, uplifting motif. What's everybody's character level by offhand? Five. Five. Uplifting motif is going to let you use a one... I'll use the cantrip rules. No, not cantrip rules. I need to go look at the spell levels um, to do balance. But it's going to start at a 1d10 for temporary HP plus two, because that's what your casting would be, because your plus two is across the board. Um... So you're going to roll a 1d10 and then add 2 to it. And that's the temp HP that Gus is going to get. Got it. Uh, Did I get one of those out? Yes, I did. (laughs) Uh, Enjoy your... Three temporary hit points. I would love to enjoy my three temporary <laughs> hit points and the it's ten a, and feet so, of bonus movement speed uh, they provide me for Jim, the duration that I have. As them. as uh, concisely as possible, explain the music. You know what? No, fuck that. You Ginge, hear make the music <laughs> uplifting. You hear the uplifting <laughs> motif that fills your ears, Gus, and you you feel renewed, invigorated, and ready for battle. This is all fun and games I've until you make me mail you a cake actually next decided week. On this. I already know the motif in my head that's going to play during the edit. <laughs> I can't wait. Beautiful. Avon's uh, going to yeah, actually perfect. dance so, on screen. I've got to mail Dwayne's cakes, and, and Kale's just here shooting a rifle into the air. <laughs> <laughs> because we have to do this I'm shit like for real now. I'm frantically looking for things to like, shove into this rocket. You have a couple <laughs> arms. She like grabs a thing of like burnt webbing and she's shoving it in there. Like, <laughs> that dismembered arm from earlier. <laughs> oh, it's an arm cannon. Here, let me give I've you. I've got the right to bear arms. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good too. Uh, it is top of the lineup. May it's your turn. Oh, um. Well, I was frantically stuffing the cannon, but when I saw something get Gus, I abandoned that. And so I just have it on my back, and I'm sprinting towards him with, like, my knife out, ready to stab the creature that is on him. Um, yeah, roll an attack roll. Uh, two attacks, if you're going to do two attacks. Go ahead and roll them both. The first one's eight. Okay. That's probably a hit. Yeah, that's not going to fly. What about the second attack? It's 21. That one is going to hit. So um, your first strike, you're just not able to find purchase. But your second one, you're able to bring that knife across its back. Uh, And how much damage does it take? Roll a d4, babe. You've you've gone off book. Roll a d4. (laughs) 
I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm trying so I'm pushing all the but... She she did six <laughs> damage. Okay. Yeah, so you do six damage as you as you bring this knife across its back. Uh, and it 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 doesn't seem to react to it, though you know it was effective. Guess back, so it's kind of, all right. I mean, and I'm <clears throat> still just hanging on. I'm like holding on to this knife. Uh, it's on. not lodged in its body. Like you, you cut across it, or if you stabbed it, you pulled it out. Like you're not stuck yeah. into it. Kayla's so mad right now. She's like, "You get to hang on to Gus just for flavor. I can't well, hang on could, to this creep. You can hang just... on for flavor. That's fine. <laughs> I'm happy with that. It's just not a grapple. So if you want to have that stuck in, I'm into it." Kayla doesn't know what a grapple yeah. is. I, yeah, I can't even work this, like, D&D, and it's the easiest thing. It's the easiest website that they give you, and I can't even... Anyways, yes, I want to hang on okay. because I am... Hell yeah. You're, you're not going to get your man. my husband. That's right. Your your boo is going to be fine. It cuts. It's, it's, it's like the office, like, side camera. It cuts to Gus. It's like, yeah, I didn't have the heart to tell her the knife was stuck in me, too. She really just pinned <laughs> the, the geosquam to my shoulder. And then we kind of hung out. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> where we end this episode is Gus <laughs> going to the fourth wall camera. I don't have the heart to tell her. She got us both. Uh, and that's where we're going to end this episode. <sighs> Okay, good episode. Appreciate everybody. Uh, and it is Shane's uh, privilege, pleasure, a uh, little bit of a fetish, even uh, to do a role for humanity. Uh, yep. So I need you to go ahead and do that for me. Nothing makes my dick hard like helping others. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> and on that note, I've rolled a two. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so I have rolled a two for the donkeys. Maybe I don't remember what I'm rolling. Dwayne, yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> Is it the donkeys? Do the donkeys get my two dollars? Or uh, I'm not sure. Hold on. What I do I do with this erection? While you're doing that. Well, um, you are rolling for. The donkey rescue. Yeah, donkeys. Two dollars for the donkeys. One for sugar, one for spice. We love you, donkeys. We love you. All right. Uh, all right, cool. And it is now my job to go to start the dad joke train. So uh, we are going to. Oh, that's weird that I did that made my notes in the wrong spots. Alright, so I'm going to tell a joke and we'll see if Shane can uh, make me a little bitch. Why does Dracula always bite people in the neck? Because he's a necromancer. Uh, <laughs> and a necrophiliac. <laughs> that too. Yeah, good one. All right, Shane. Tell me a tell me a funny dad joke. Make me laugh. Oh, um, do you, what did what did the antennas say on their wedding day? I don't know. I remember, but the reception <laughs> was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that one. Avon. Uh, okay. How does the moon clip their hair? How does the moon moon clip clip their hair? hair. Uh, Uh, Something something to do with Buzz Aldrin? No. (laughs) Something wax and wane? No. Eclipse it. No. (laughs) Eclipse it. Eclipse it. God damn it. I even thought like it it has to do with the fucking lunar cycles, but... Close. I was uh, thinking Buzz. You know, we all all had our our own little take on that joke. That's fun. Jen, you're next. All right. What do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? Elephino. Wait a second. Elephino. Yeah, that's cute. I do like that, but that's not it. Uh, that's what you get if you mix an elephant and a rhino. Uh, an elephant that doesn't <laughs> matter. Uh, is that matter as like a thing? No, go tell me. 
Just one. Irrelevant. 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 <laughs> That's so good. All right. Well, sounds like, sounds like, sounds like last, a, a sad creature that Winnie the Pooh would hang out with. Sounds like Eeyore's, Eeyore's <laughs> girlfriend. Irrelevant. Eeyore's cousin. Oh, yeah. Girlfriend. That makes sense. What Whatever. do you call a tired bicycle? Too tired. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, did you fuck up this joke really bad, it Kayla? Is. It is too, no, it is too tired, isn't it? <laughs> Kayla, did you fuck up this joke really bad? I did, but I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's not like I'm pretty on par with like. Did you mean you said, did, you said the moon? How does the moon get its hair clipped? And I feel like it would have been cut, and then it clips it, you know. And then like I was really focused on that when I said my joke. I feel like we just did it together. Did you mean yeah. to say why was the bicycle so sleepy? Because it was too tired. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Okay, uh, Shane, since Devin's not here, you have to pick up his slack. Oh, God. As we always say, get in there nice and deep, like. <laughs> get in there nice and deep, like. <laughs> oh, we love you. Bye. 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 All right. <laughs>